Hey guys, all right, so I'm leaving a Jewel Osco. We're gonna test out the Smart Summon. We're gonna see how well it works. So I've parked my car a little bit of a distance away. It's not too far, I'll show you here. So the car is all the way over there. I don't know if you can see it, it's a bit bright outside, but it's all the way over there and I'm gonna summon it to come pick me up. So I've got my groceries here and I'm probably gonna throw them in the frunk, but depending on other traffic that may or may not come. So it is rush hour, it's about maybe 4, 45 p.m., 5 p.m. Depending on rush hour traffic, I might not have the opportunity to throw this in the frunk, but I'll try to capture that experience because I do this quite often. And again, I think I've gone over this before, but I always use my key fob. That is key for using Smart Salmon. Definitely you need to have quick access to unlocking your car in the case that Bluetooth doesn't work. All right, so I've got the app open here, and what I'm gonna do is go into the Summon menu and I'm gonna wait for it to identify where I am. And again, I have to be within a 200 foot radius. And as you can see, I am just outside of that radius. Oops, got an email coming in there. Just outside of that radius, so it's not gonna allow me to turn it on. So as you can see, I am kind of on the sidewalk right here. And I'm gonna to have to go across just a tiny bit to allow the car to come pick me up. So we'll wait for this car here to pass by and I'll just cross the street here. So we're waiting for that, my little circle to go within the radius. Okay, perfect. So now that we are in the radius, you'll see here, just given a second, it's gonna register that I am here in the radius and then allow me to have it come pick me up. It says cannot use in current location, which nine out of 10 times is not correct. So what I do in this situation is I back out of it I go back in and it's now connecting. Nine out of 10 times that solves it. So there it is, the people icon is selected. So it's going to come to me and it shows the path. So it's gonna come straight down here to come pick me up. So all, all I need to do from here is hold it down. So here comes the car. Now again, you really have to be aware of other traffic. So you can see now there's an SUV behind my car. Chances are they're gonna be exiting out, so it'll be fine. My car is gonna go past this area. Hopefully no other car comes in. They evidently are most likely don't have any clue that my car is driving itself. And sure enough, they are turning right to exit the parking lot. And here comes my car. Once it comes all the way up here, it will have arrived. So it looks like it's almost there. And there, so now we've got this other car here. So now usually what I do is I just wave these people to come. I wave these people to kind of go around my car so I don't make it awkward for them. And then what I do is I come on up to my car and, oops, had a, my finger go in the camera there. So I take my key fob and I double, double tap down. The frunk will open up and I simply just throw my bag into the frunk, close it down, and I always press with one hand right in the front. So mine is a 2019 model. Some of the newer models, they close a little bit differently. But then I come up to the car and it should be unlocked since I already did the frunk, but let's just test it. If I go ahead and press it in, yes, the, the handle allows me to open the door. Sometimes that does not happen and you have to use the key fob. So that is the summons. Then basically I just get in my car and you'll see that uh, right away that my mirrors are, are folded in. So I always like to unfold the mirrors. So to do that, I go into the menu here and I just tap on that button and there the mirrors unfold and then I'm ready to go. So I'm just gonna check in my rear view mirror. There's nobody coming. So we are, we are good right now and uh, that's it. So there we have another successful summon.